Well, that's good. There's eight potential jobs there. Two days next week, and we'll see what. Hello, folks. I forgot to turn this on. Welcome back for I Am The One, The Only I Am A Hobo Tom. You can tell I'm getting a little bit more hobo-ish. Why isn't the volume working? Oh, well, that's, I guess, what it's going to be stuck at. But yeah. This is what happens when I, week, when I work one whole week at home. And I don't have to go out in the public. Unless it's the gym and stuff. Well, let's see. Oh, yeah, I have, to, I, have to make, I, have to, I have to make up some thank yous. Let's see here. Oh, then I have some news and notes. Let's see, where am I? I'm going to wait. It's here somewhere. I wrote these up. There we go. Yes, I have some thank yous that I forgot to give out last time. Crackety Jones. You, sir, you always manage to win twice. Because you get that six count. And Captain Wacky, you sir are just a master of the air guitar.
So with all that being said, so that's all set up. Um, I guess I'll start off with a little news. I think since I'm finally cleared to go back. Ooh, that was painful. That was painful sound. So I'm all clear to go back to live streaming. That's going to be so good. I think well, when this show goes up Saturday, Saturday night there's a Battle of the Belt special. I don't know. You have to find a wrestling shirt. Probably my Young Buck shirts right now. Again, well, you know, the Machine Gunner, the Final Guy Gene, the original, the OG one too. Um, yeah, where, were we? where was I? Yeah, Saturday. I'm going to be live streaming. I have to get back into the groove of live streaming stuff. Um, actually, I might live stream. I think. What else do I feel like live streaming? AEW. Impact. We'll see. It all depends a lot on my work schedule. I know my one job for the one place I'm at, they kind of like assign you work. Literally, like I just got my assignment for Tuesday, Wednesday. Literally, like tonight or last night. Yeah, depending what time zone you're in, I guess. Um, so, yeah, so that changes. And also, don't forget, Sunday, Easter Mania. Easter Mania. That's always a fun thing. Um, again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. The show takes a lot of stress off things. I realized that I did not get one job. And I got that letter again from the other job. So, from the other potential job, so... There goes plan A. Plan B is in the works. Plan C is all set. And then we'll see what happens. We'll see how I feel. And again, the one job keeps on giving me assignments. Always take the money. But yeah. Um, let's see here. I'm not here to talk about that stuff. That's for like professionals and stuff. And I have to mail that out. Oh, I have to. <laughs> I have to go see if that one secretary is still there. You just say, hey, sneak this to someone who knows. But yeah, um, enough about that nonsense. Let's talk about some impact. Oh, I wonder why I do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I have all day in Easter Monday. I don't think they go on break either. Oh, that's right. Easter was. I have to look stuff up. Yeah. But I am here now for sure to talk about Impact Wrestling. And you can tell that my Carl Anderson, the original one too. You can tell because it says the final guy Gene on it. The G1 Climax. One of the original Bullet Club shirts. Very proud of the shirt. Uh, we start off W. Morrissey's in there. It's talking about a bunch of stuff. Uh, Myers interrupts. And then Chelsea 469. Shows up, Cardone, Cardone jumps cast. So this starts off a new program. Funny story about that number. One of my first jobs, um, I, yeah, I guess it was one of my first jobs. When I was at college, I paid for my final year. My, yeah, my fifth year because I changed my major three times. Um, I was the counter help, and we had the expediter. One day I was the expediter, and person's number came up and I just said 469 didn't thought about it I said ah ha ha that was a funny of course there was this one woman who was a lesbian a lesbian yeah um I said hey Lindsay are you 469 she gave me the dirtiest look if there wasn't that, that like good foot and a half of counter space between us I would have gotten popped in the face. But yeah, Chelsea Green's hilarious. Um, she's actually up there on the door. Right? I think, yeah, she's there. Where is, I know she's, that's her. Santana Garrett. There she is. Chelsea Green. Wow. Yep, actually right at the very top. I can tell because it's the one with the heart. Can't see it from here, but it's, here. Nope. So it's all the way. Remember, I'm doing this mirror style. Yeah, that one right there. 
Yeah, that one right there. Yep. Chelsea Green's autograph. Very happy about that. Um, so first match we had, women's match, Gianna Prazzo versus Willow Nightingale. This is actually pretty good. Um, again, this is a champ champ challenge. Willow Nightingale wants that Ring of Honor Women's Championship belt. Gianna Prazzo kind of knocks Willow, knocks Willow down. There's a stomps with a big back elbow, Willow. Uh, Gianna Prazzo put her head down, hit the bulldog running off the ropes. Uh, hit the reverse arm by arm breaker, the bay breaker. I have no idea. I forget what that was. Uh, Diana Prazzo reverse clothesline into the Venus de Milo. You know, a very typical match for Impact again. Very middle of the road Impact. Uh, you know what? It's a ham sandwich match. Really didn't do anything that I couldn't do. I mean, I can do that stuff too. They they, they weren't like flippy or ooh wow stuff. It's solid match, nothing spectacular. Uh, then we had a Mickey James interview. Uh, Chelsea Green shows up. Talk, talks at her. Tasha Seals does an interview. And she is the Knockouts Women's Champion. Yeah. Then our next match, we get Jonathan Gertram versus Rocky Romero. Um, it starts off, they each do the headlock takedown to leg scissors. Very traditional ring of honor start. Tie up, headlock. Other guy puts the leg scissors on, get up, switch the rolls. Now Gretchen goes goes for the classic hammerlock or, or the chicken wing, depending, I guess, what area you're calling them. They trade shots for a while. You know what? Uh, nowhere near the intensity of a Samoa Joe or a Minoru Suzuki. So yeah, it's like, pff, those chops are weak. Samoa Joe laughs at those chops. I laugh at those chops. Uh, there's a lot of missing of kicks. They, they duck and dodge each other. Fairly quick pace, Jonathan Grisham. That's like a quick pin. Well, like prawn, I feel like a prawn clutch on Rocky Romero. They shake hands. Eh. And sandwich match. I have a walking weapon, Josh Alexander package. That was pretty cool. Then there was Speedball Mike Bailey training with Ace Austin. A lot of promos here. Uh, the next match, pretty good match. Steve Macklin versus Alex Shelley. One half, the Motor City Machine Guns. Not to be confused by the Machine Gunner, Carl Anderson. Machine Gunner. Yeah. Now they trade blows to start off the match. Shelley um, hits the knees, uh, works over the arm. Of Steve Macklin. Uh, that's some good stuff. Uh, eventually, Steve gets the comeback. He dives to the outside. Good backbreaker. I'll tell you what, Steve Macklin, even in NXT as part of the Forgotten Sons, was very solid. Then he puts up Shelly in the Tree of Woe, spears him. Ooh, that has to hurt because you can't give on that. Like, the way you are, your body. Doesn't really have the give. Like, if you take a spear, you can kind of lean forward, kick your legs up, and it looks great. That one, you're just, like, stuck there. Chris Saban, again, he's there. He's trying to protect his partner a little bit, a little bit of a distraction towards Steve McElmack. He says, hey, you back off. It's not your match. Uh, Shelly, again, did the slice spread on the outside. I think that was great. Steve Macklin tried to dirty pin, going all the way to the top rope, just to make it more obvious. Uh, Alex Shelley eventually had the shell shock. This was a good match. Solid cheeseburger match. And there was Madison Rain and um, Talking Smack. Uh, Gazelle Shawls there. I still haven't seen her wrestle. 
Um, now you have Moose or Moose's video package. And then all of a sudden, the best part of the show, wait a second, there's only one thing to do, and that means you have to talk because I'm too sweet for... That's right, it's the Bullet Club. Bullet Club forever, baby. Baby! Boom. So yeah, I'll just talk over this. Um, they just start, oh, well, actually, I don't know, Mara comes out first. They start talking a bunch of junk. Again, that pulls out the two sweet group. That's four. Life Bullet Club, and then it's just gang warf. Uh, the only one left in the ring was PCO, and this leads to the main event. Uh, the main event, of course, being PCO versus Jonah. Um, I saw this first match. On the one I got banned from, not much to say. Um, uh, PCO, one of the first thing he does, he grabs Jonah, does the Undertaker rope walk. Rope walk. Uh, I think he winds up just kind of clubbing him on the head. Better chops. It's a better trade of chops. Again, no Samoa Joe, no Minoru Suzuki chops, but at least better. Uh, and, and PCO, like, taped up his neck with duct tape. Uh... You're not Sabu. You're not going to, like, duct tape your arm because it's, like, ripped to shreds and I can see muscle. Like, duct tape... That would probably hinder you as a wrestler around your neck. That would be like choking yourself. Like, duct tapes... It's not going to make you not move your neck around. So, yeah, I don't know why you did that. Who knows? He, he is the Canadian Frankenstein or whatever. Yeah, that's saying a lot. Um, Jonah for, hit a nasty looking form. The small of the back of PCO. Hit a buckle bomb on him. The fact that he got him up, that's impressive. Uh, they trade elbows for a little bit. And then, of course, Jonah has that New Zealand headbutt. Try to lob in there with the Australian headbutt. Probably one, two, three, fourth most powerful headbutt. Samoan, Ugandan, American, Australian, and then Canada's like, I don't know, like 10th. Yeah, it's pretty like, like the New York headbutts. Although, uh, I don't know, where, where should the Shibata headbutt go? Jeez, that's right. I always forget about that until I see it. Yeah, um, again, the Aussie headbutt. Uh, what else does he do? He actually hit a pile driver, too. And listen, this is my one bugaboo. Pile driver, ultimate finisher. I remember some wrestling leagues, the pile driver was banned. The pile driver still banned. And PCO eats a pile driver. One count. No. The pile driver, ulti near ultimate finisher. You should never, unless, I mean, if you're like Undertaker-esque. And even then you should just barely get out of it. Then you can set up. You just don't kick out of a pile driver after one count. Uh, PCO missed the moonsault. Ouch. Listen, speaking from a guy who's, who's missed the moonsault, that's not necessarily pleasant. Jonah hit the splash. Um, Jonah wins. Solid match. Actually, a better match. That was on the pay-per-view 90 days ago. Cheeseburger match. Then Sherry Sash and Sue, Jonah said, someone told Jonah, yeah, you still have like two or three more minutes. Beat him up some more. So yeah, 
And that was Impact. Fairly good, sh again, middle of the road show, very consistently, right down the middle. Um, again, told you a little bit what's happening. Tomorrow I will be live streaming. Tomorrow is the last day I, I eat vegetarian food. I have my fake chicken nuggets and fries with dipping sauce. Um, Sunday, it's Easter mania. I have to, I have to get, I have to get, find, where did I put that card information? Oh yeah, that's right. I have to figure out what I'm doing with the tag belts. I might save that for Cinco de Mayo too. No. Well, I'll figure something out. I'm gonna beat up. Maybe I'll save under Caner for. Yeah, I'll do that later. I have a plan. So yeah. Um. What else? And then next week, Monday. Again, might be a day behind, but it's gonna be. Raw, I might go back to live streaming NXT and Soup Day. Wednesday, AEW. Thursday, yeah, it depends a lot on my work schedule. And Friday, I don't know. Oh, Thursday, I might not be doing Impact. I just realized that. Um, Thursday, I, Thursday or Friday, I have to do a double video because I have to do... Um, Impact, whichever show that is, and then WWE is next Sunday. So I'll be streaming my reactions. I get to stream reactions again. Oh, shoot, I forgot to get that, too. I just realized that. Wah, wah, wah. That's okay. And then I have a whole other week. So again, I'm going to thank everyone... For being positive out there. Thank you, whoever you, you new subscribers are. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Comment on my scruffiness if you so choose to. And I'll see everyone. You'll get to see me live later. Bye.